Interactive Intrinsic Video Decomposition We introduce an interactive video tool which allows sophisticated illumination-aware editing such as recolouring, retexturing, illumination editing and compositing. When editing images and videos, manipulating colours and textures without considering the illumination produces unconvincing results. Decomposing the imagery into a product of two images, one for reflectance and one for illumination, is called intrinsic decomposition and it allows us to edit the real surface colour and then reapply the illumination for better results. Decomposition is hard because illumination and reflectance are joined into a single observation which makes separating these values severely ill-posed. With user interaction, state-of-the-art methods can solve this problem in about 10 seconds per image. However, for videos, we must enforce temporal consistency and even short sequences like this can take many hours to decompose. In contrast, our method takes half a second per frame and produces comparable results. This speed greatly reduces turnaround time for interaction, allowing an artist to quickly reduce mistakes in the decomposition, such as this constant illumination logo on the shirt, which should not appear in the illumination. We assume priors on the gradients in a video, that illumination gradients are smooth, constrained by an L2 norm, and that reflectance gradients are sparse, constrained by an LP norm. Then, we iteratively solve from a luminance chrominance decomposition for a hybrid L2-LP norm performed very quickly with lookup tables while maintaining temporal consistency. Changing the contribution of the reflectance prior effectively changes the similarity to the chrominance. Changes to parameters are visualized very quickly. We also include non-local terms, which propagate constraints to spatially distant but similar pixels. In general, different parameters may be needed for different scenes in intrinsic decompositions. However, unlike non-interactive methods, it is fast for our users to find appropriate parameters. As we saw before, the shirt logo is hard for methods to handle, and this affects the quality of edits. With a constant illumination brush, our user corrects this mistake. Seven further strokes are made to the logo at different frames to handle occlusions. However, this is all the interaction needed to successfully decompose this example. The resulting recolouring is now more convincing. In this example, Kermit creates complex shadows against a nearby wall, and our method successfully separates these into the illumination layer. As well as editing the reflectance, we can also edit the illumination. This museum piece creates sharp shadows on the surrounding walls. With our decomposition, we blur the illumination video to soften the shadows. With complex reflectance patterns, such as the character design on this shirt, intrinsic decompositions often need user input to correct ambiguities. Our solver makes this process fast, as users receive instant feedback. Temporal consistency cannot be undervalued, as we demonstrate here by comparing against a recent image method applied per frame. Some videos are harder than others. Artifacts appear in the wheels due to motion blur, camera noise, and compression artifacts. This difficult synthetic scene has occlusions from the trees, but our temporal consistency still helps produce a plausible result. Even though this image method takes one minute per frame, it is still less preferable than our half second per frame video solution. Some videos are incredibly difficult. One limitation of our method is that we cannot successfully decompose colored lighting. That said, this scene is a serious challenge for any intrinsic decomposition technique. Still, our approach can handle complex videos. This scene has complex illumination coming through the trees and high reflectance detail on the building masonry. However, we managed to create a convincing retexturing of the roof walls, and driveway. Any flickering would be immediately obvious in this camera pan, but our approach is temporarily consistent. Our final example is compositing. We want to add a person to the scene, but the scene contains strong shadows and bright sunlight. Let's try and composite this skateboarder in red here. Traditionally, trying to add the skateboarder to this scene creates unconvincing results, because while the border is in the environment shadow, his own shadow doesn't merge correctly with the environment shadow. Our approach allows the illuminations to be decomposed and correctly integrated so that no duplicate shadow is seen and that the skateboarder himself darkens and lightens as he moves in and out of shadows. This creates a much more convincing result.
Intrinsic video decomposition is a challenging task. To be a useful tool, a solution needs to be temporally consistent, allow user interaction to correct ambiguities, and be fast to respond to user input. While some examples are still very difficult for intrinsic decomposition in general, our many successful complex edits show promise that users will be empowered by interactive intrinsic video decomposition.